Hi everybody, this is Bob and uh, getting into the holiday season here but uh, I keep busy working on this ham stuff we can't go out very much anymore so uh, we keep busy doing the amateur radio which is really nice I really enjoy it I've got this HM2140 it's a uh, 2 meter SWR power meter it has a circuit in there that uh, averages your uh, your single sideband signal and shows it out there showing you the peak of your sideband signal and uh, that's really nice I really like that it uh, also has a standard SWR bridge which you can select over on this side over here and uh, then over here is the uh, this has got the circuitry in it to, to do the peak uh, PEP which is real nice so I've got it connected to the homebrew solid state uh, kilowatt amplifier and I, it's set up right now for about uh, 700 watts as I believe so uh, that'll show up on the right hand meter there so I'll do a little transmitting now I'm transmitting into a dummy load not an antenna okay testing one two three four ah uh, so you can see the power there on the right and the SWR is showing on the left on the dummy load which is a, practically a perfect 50 ohm load it's showing no SWR at all now if I take it off of PEP and put it on average there we go now you can see the uh, signal that I'm sending out ah uh, it goes up there pretty high but it doesn't show you the actual peak but when you put it on the PEP reading ah uh, there we go testing one two three four it puts out about 700 800 watts there when when I whistle like that so it's nice to have an instrument like that that uh, the needles not bouncing around all over the place making it hard to read like that so anyways I really like this instrument and uh, really uh, enjoy having it it does it did have a problem when I got on let me turn the transmitter off when I get on why I uh, I uh, was having a little difficulty with the meters uh, reading way off and uh, it would do that quite commonly well this operates off of a 9 volt battery inside and what I did was I just took one of those little 9 volt battery snap on uh, battery clips put it on a piece of wire which uh, is right here there we go see the plug there I got a two pin plug on there and that goes right into the back of the HM2140 right here the HM2140 has also got this removable SWR unit that you can take out it's got about a six foot cord in there so you can put that behind the operating bench or something and have the indicator out where you can see it better but uh, I didn't need to do that with this setup so uh, I've got it right here inside yeah, that's the way usually people use it and but what I wanted to show you was I have a, a little 9 volt battery clip in there and here's the cord from it and that's clipped into where the 9 volt battery goes and then I've got a 9 volt battery eliminator right here and this has got a transformer in it I, I pick these up at Goodwill or at uh, garage sales 9 volt eliminators or 12 volt eliminators I got I don't know three or four of them around here but I got them at either Goodwill or garage sales and I pick up the ones that are heavier because they've got a power transformer in them if you pick one up and it's really light then you know it's got a switching power supply and you don't want the switching power supply because a lot of those are noise generators and you don't want a noise generator on your ham radio rig so uh, the ones with the power transformer don't make noise like that so I look for those when I see one I usually buy it because you go to a garage sale or to Goodwill you don't pay over two dollars for one and that's just fine I think so anyways I wanted to show you this HM2140 and what happened when I put that uh, power supply on there this power supply here and connected it why my problems with the meters going crazy it was eliminated it doesn't do it anymore I just let it run 24 7 
and so I don't have that problem. So this is a good instrument, but if you run it off of the 9 volt batteries like they show in the manual, uh, you'll find the meter will go this way or go that way as the batteries wear a little bit. They're on all the time. When you put that battery in there, it's on all the time. There's no way to turn it off here. There's no switch on and off. So uh, you're just putting a load on that battery, and as the battery decreases its voltage, then the 2140 starts reading funny. And so I found that by putting it onto a little battery eliminator power supply, uh, a lot of them have got the, the connector for plugging it into the wall right on the power supply. This one just happens to have a cord on it. Either type works fine. And get one with a power transformer in it and uh, you'll be just fine. These things work great. So I wanted to bring that out on the HM2140 because I really think that it's handicapped by operating off of those little 9 volt batteries. That's it guys. 73's and good DX.